Welcome to Tech Business with Amir. In this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all the resources. And this is the first time I'm doing that too. So I'm going to show you guys if this works or doesn't work or how it is going to happen. So I have this uh, your uh, subscription. And uh, in this subscription, I have a resource group. So my resource group is uh, RG Amir. And uh, here I have a lot of resources. So why I'm uh, deleting it? Uh, because uh, I'm using this one for lab and uh, I have created a uh, a lot of uh, resources that might uh, you know cost me a lot so if you go right here so here uh, what I have I have uh, ADF Azure Data Factory is three of them and uh, then I have this VM created so uh, these are the disks for the VMs then I have a load balancer that I created for the managed instance uh, and uh, private endpoints for the Azure Data Factory uh, demo now I have uh, these uh, managed databases so you can see right there then I have network interfaces for those VMs and then finally I have network groups you know right there then I have private link uh, service and then I have a VM here you know uh, sorry uh, yeah this is the IP for the VM uh, this is a, another public address um, uh, that's another uh, IP for the VM this is a Ubuntu and then uh, I have a route table so I have a lot of uh, actually different resources but uh, what I'm worried about is uh, uh, my uh, managed instance because it costs me $750 per month. So I have a VNets here and uh, everything is in uh, my resource group uh, RG Amir. So what I was thinking uh, instead of uh, because I, for the next lab I might need to create some um, you know resources such as uh, Azure SQL database or maybe uh, manage instance and all that. So uh, instead of uh, keeping uh, it here, uh, I can go ahead and drop everything tonight and then maybe when I'm going to create uh, some uh, other demos I can uh, start over. So I don't have to pay uh, a lot of money because I just uh, uh, for the one of the demo where I had needed a managed instance and that's where I created uh, that and it was showing me hey your cost is going to be $750 for one month and uh, I'm not willing to pay uh, like $20 uh, you know something like that every day for this uh, managed instance because I don't really need to use it so uh, I was looking at uh, different options so resource group uh, because I'm, I'm feeling resource group is the main uh, container here that's holding everything so if I will remove that one that should remove all of them so let's go ahead and take a look this is the first time I'm doing that as well so delete resource group that's a, a column here so type the resource group name so it is shown affected resources there are 36 resources in the resource group that will be deleted and that's what I want actually so I'm gonna go ahead and RG uh, Amir okay so and it said hey you want to delete it I said yes so what's happening now is the deleting resource group RG Amir. So next when we are going to go ahead and start over, uh, we will do that. So if we see right here, I don't know if it shows information like, hey, I'm deleting this, this, this. So two failed, 35 succeeded. These are the deployments we had. So uh, I'm going to see how much time it to take uh, to delete all. So it's... Uh, we can dis, uh, dismiss the all if you want more events in the activity log okay so we want to see the activity log what's going on here I get SSA integration on time metadata so it's gathering information as of now it looks like uh, okay that's old one actually so it was uh, these all logs belong to some old time so we are gonna go back here and it's still working so I'm gonna let it work and see once the whole thing is deleted so after all these nine minutes what we got here it is it is in fail to delete resource group RG Amir deletion of resource group RG Amir failed as 10 resources could not be deleted the provisioning state of the resource group will be rolled back the tracking ID is this one Please check audit logs for more detail code this one okay now please stop all SSIS integration runtimes remove all Azure VNets integration runtimes and remove all self-hosted integration runtimes sharing before delete your resource so if you want to see more there is a lot more details here
so you can see that uh, like uh, which one and uh, all those kind of things uh, so uh, what happened uh, what we understand from here if you have resources uh, so it's not going to be like, okay, uh, you, if you have a resource group, uh, you, you can go ahead and delete the resource group and it's going to take care of everything. So it looks like that's not happening. No? So what we have to do, we have to uh, do something like this. So we have to uh, go ahead. I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this window open and I'm going to go to the portal.azure on this side so we can uh, read and uh, work on that. So log in and uh, here, okay, so... Uh, uh, it is saying uh, it did uh, try to delete some of them. It looks like uh, a lot of stuff has been deleted. Uh, so that's good. And uh, here, let's go back here. It's saying uh, VNet, please stop all SSIS integration run times. So we have to go to ADF. And uh, here, uh, let's see which ADF is still uh, right there. So I'm going to go to the resource group right here. Uh, I'm not, this is the one okay so especially what we are going to do we are going to go open the ADF and then try to take care of that go to manage and here we have integration runtimes and the C right there is unavailable it has been deleted some part of this has been deleted because that's why it became unavailable so we are going to right click here stop yes so it is stopping um the products is uh, overpriced i don't know just i don't care you know so now it is uh, stopping here okay this is stop that's awesome so now i can go ahead and delete once it's stopped so that should take care of it that's done and now i should uh, go and take a look on the uh, azure data factory so I'm gonna delete the Azure Data Factory because I have, yes, I have read a weird direction. Is it reversible? Uh, yes. Please type the name. So I'm gonna just uh, copy this thing here. Copy and paste. Okay, delete. Let's see if that will take care of it. So. Uh, just this is still uh, running but this is auto resolve IR so that's not uh, uh, there so this uh, should be deleted as well okay so we are all good here I so slowly I'm able to delete all of them uh, first uh, I deleted the, the uh, subnet and then I deleted the security uh, group uh, and then uh, I'm deleting the routing table uh, route table so, okay so if uh, you have to do that uh, you will be doing one item at a time uh, if they're nested uh, and being used by each uh, resources are used by another resource uh, so it's not uh, like uh, you're gonna go ahead and delete uh, your resource group and it's gonna take care of every um, child uh, resource so you have to do that by yourself so if you see right here I'm left with the just now I'm left with what uh, uh, this is gone if I click here it's gone it's deleted I just say it is gonna take some time to refresh so let's go back here so I'm left with only my VNet and my resource group so I'm gonna go ahead and click on here and I can delete the entire VNet because it does not have any subnets or anything now it should be just uh, good to delete and uh, that's it now that's gone and uh, what I have left uh, is uh, only my resource group. So if I click on VNet, it is gone. So good. Now I can just refresh and uh, that's the resource group. So I can go ahead and delete the resource group as well if I like. And I can uh, start over when I needed to do that. So RG A or Okay, so I'm going to delete that resource group as well. Deleting a resource group right there. So this is how you guys uh, will delete uh, the entire resource group. Uh, pretty uh, not that easy. Uh, I might uh, uh, try to do it put the PowerShell. Maybe that give us option recursive or something like that. Like, okay, you have a, 
resource group and there are a lot of other resources inside you want to delete that and even they are depending upon each other you want to go through that uh, you know so it will do that but uh, uh, coming from here it wasn't that uh, uh, easy task so my my I was thinking like okay you click on resource group and just delete and it will take care of everything but that didn't happen so you have to go uh, so it will delete some of the resources but uh, it uh, will also uh, leave a lot of them if they are being used by uh, SSIS, Azure, IR, or uh, by the network, you know, if there is a VNet, there are subnets and all that. So you have to take care of each of them uh, and then delete them. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.